Okay, so we're looking at baseball. So we need to get the data, first of all, from here. Let that load. I'm going to make a new one here. Create Python. Good afternoon. <clears throat> okay, so here's the baseball data. I'm just going to copy all that. And let's paste it here. Okay, let's look at what we have. So we have two lists. One is just the name of the players, and the other one is a three-dimensional list. So same idea as basketball. Um, oh, there's Tayo. You guys, can you be on time to class, please? Everyone else on that trip made it to class on time. Okay, so the questions we want to answer, so I would put those I would put those into my program as well, just so I have them there. And these can kind of guide. Of course, you want to make them a comment, right? These can guide your your code. Okay. So the first question is, what is each player's batting average? So what do I need? I need to start breaking this 3D list down. How do I do that? A for loop, right? For what should I call it? Um, for player. Each one represents a player, right? Player and data. And I always suggest you just try running it with some output just to make sure that player is what you expect it to be. Okay, so I'm seeing a bunch of stuff. Okay, so each of those is a two-dimensional list, right? So what do I need to do next? So each item in player is what? A batting attempt, yeah. It's called an at-bat in baseball. So I'm going to say for at-bat in what? Player, right? It needs to be this thing that we've just uh, referenced. We've, we're breaking data down into player, and now I want to break player down into at-bat. Okay, and I'm going to print that just to get a look at what that is. They should now be single lists, which they are. Okay, and just a reminder, the first item in it represents uh, whether it was a hit or not. So zero means it was not a hit. One means it was a single, they reached first base. Two is a double, four is a home run, three is a triple, okay? So the next number, the second number, represents how many people scored, like how many runs were scored, or you could call it points if you want, on that at bat. Okay, so if you hit the ball and you make it to base, someone else could score because they're going to be running. Okay, so we're trying to answer the player's batting average. So before I go into at bat, I need somewhere to, I need to add up. Like their batting average is going to be, um, yeah, let's just erase this. So your batting average, BA, is your number of hits divided by your number of attempts or number of at-bats, okay? So <clears throat> we can easily get the number of at-bats for the player. I could just print here length of player. That's how many at-bats are in that player's list, right? So let me just print number of at bats and the length of the player. Scrolling up until we see that. Boy, this person has a ton of at bats. Okay, 390. Okay, 
So that's easy enough. Now we need to add up all of their hits, right, to, to be able to calculate the batting average. So I need somewhere to store that. I'm going to create a variable. Again, if you're not looking up here, it doesn't seem like you're paying attention. And in fact, you can't be paying full attention if you're not looking. I mean, you could be listening, right? But you have to see what's going on here. So print number of at-bats. Um, that's showing up right there, yeah? Now I need somewhere before I go into all the individual at-bats in the player, before I start going there, I need somewhere to store the number of hits. So create a variable, num hits, give it an initial value of zero, right? We want this to reset for each player, right? So for player and data, we're gonna print out their number of at bats, we're gonna reset num hits to zero, and then we're gonna count up num hits in the second loop. Okay, so far okay? Yes. All right. So how do I know if they got a hit? Yeah. Zero means no hit. One, two, three, or four means it is a hit. For now, I don't care what kind of hit. I just want to know that there is a hit. So I'm going to say if at bat. How do I access the first item in the list? Square back bracket zero. Good. Square bracket zero. What do I want to say? Um, Greater than one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like greater than zero. There are many ways to do this, okay? I like greater than zero. That's, this, in my mind, the simplest, right? If it's greater than zero, that means it's a one, two, or three, or four, and that means we're going to count that as a hit. So next line, I want to do num hits equals num hits plus one. Okay. Now I've been showing you this this way of incrementing a variable. Um, I do want to show you that you can also do a shorthand version. It's just less typing. You can say plus equals one. This is the same thing. It's just saying add one to that variable, or you can say plus equals two, plus equals whatever. I'm adding one to num hits, right? Which was zero. But now every time we find a hit, we're going to add one to it. So if it was two, one, two, three. Yep. It's just, this just means add one to it and save it in the same place. Okay. So then I need to go after this for loop because this is going to run through every at bat in the player and count up all of their hits. Okay. And then for their batting average, I can print it out. Batting average. That's going to be uh, num hits. Num hits. <coughs> I probably should have saved the length of the player. No, I can still access length player. That's fine. Num hits divided by length of the player. And let's just see what that looks like. Okay, so I took out that print with all the at-bats. We don't really need to see that. So whoever, like this person, had 478 at-bats and their batting average, uh, normally in baseball, you round it to three digits. Uh, I don't quite remember how to do that right now. I know you can. I just don't remember. We could Google it and find out. Um, I think maybe we just do round. So that might be the first argument. And then three, perhaps. Let's try that. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So that's how it works in baseball. It's zero point and then three digits. So you don't convert it to a percent like you do in basketball or some other, many other sports. We just look at it as a, you'd call this 383. All right. So that's in baseball. You'd say that, or that guy's hitting 300. That means 0 0.300 or three tenths of the time they get a hit, which is pretty good in baseball. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. I'm just saying the convention in the baseball world, if you're into sports, is point 
something, 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 three digits, right? You could have done it as a percent, I don't care. Okay, um, so most home runs. Like uh, all of these questions are gonna be fairly similar. You're gonna use some loop to go through. Maybe you wanna just copy and do another for loop series through it and run through it again and add up um, the home runs for each person. This one was adding up the number of hits. It wouldn't be that too hard to just change this to be the no uh, number of home runs, right? We would say if at bat zero, what? Not greater than one. How do you know it's a home run? Four, four. equals four, right? That would have mean meant it's a home run, right? Yeah, triple is three, double is two, single is one. Okay, so I think I'll stop there. Of course, I'll circulate and help as needed. Do you want me to answer one more thing? Where? Which? The last question. Oh, okay. That one is a little more complicated, but we need to look at this website. Okay, so slugging percentage is basically a, a, trying to show a hitter's power. So we're weighting by the number of bases, right? So here's the calculation right here. So it's 1B means number of singles plus 2B means the number of doubles times 2 because there is like two bases. And then the number of triples times 3 because it's 1, 2, 3 bases. The number of home runs times 4 because it's 4 bases. But basically counting up the total number of bases that they hit divided by their number of at-bats. A, B is at-bats. Okay? So you need all the different components um, to add up. But you should have those already because you've already answered those questions here. If you were to add up for each player the number of home runs and for each player the number of triples, and doubles, and singles, and if you save that somewhere like in a list called home runs or a list called triples, and it's going to go in the same order, right? We know the order of the players here. Then you could use that. Um, to add up all that stuff for slugging percentage, okay? That's definitely the trickiest one. Um, if you can solve all the others, I would be happy with that. If you need some extra help with slugging percentage, that's okay. But see if you can figure that out. Okay, was there anything else? <laughs>